So hello together. I will wait approximately one minute that everybody has the chance to come in to our webinar. So hold on please and we will start shortly. So I will wait again 10 seconds and then I hope that everybody has a chance to come in and have the possibility to listen to our webinar. So I would like to start. Hello and welcome to our webinar, Automated Fine Spindle Head Complex from Basigheim near to Stuttgart. I am pleased to welcome you all here and would like to say, let's start straight away. In this webinar, as the title suggests, we want to talk about a very special topic, a mechatronic tool system, our complex, an automated fine spindle head. But first of all, I would like to introduce the speakers and give you a few hints about the course of event. My name is Frank Stadler, technical advisor for actuating tools, and I'm leading through the webinar today. Sophie Miller is a development engineer of mechatronic systems. She will talk about the agenda point software and programming later on, and she also takes care of the chat and collects questions, which will be answered by us at the end of the webinar. I would like to give you a few hints on communication during the webinar. All microphones are muted, webcams are switched off. If you have any questions, please use the chat. The chat is public, everyone will see the questions. At the end of the webinar, we have a Q&A session to answer your questions. At the right side of your screen, you will find the chat. You can place your questions at the bottom right. After your approval, our approval, the questions will be visible to everyone in the online seminar. At the top, you can choose a different layout. I would like to give you a brief overview of the topics in advance. Let's have a look at the agenda. We start with a short company presentation about Sarah Tisit, and then start with basic information and considerations on mechatronical tool systems, and of course, get you informed about our automated fine spindle head, the complex. At the end of the webinar, we offer you as a participant the opportunity to ask live questions or answer the collected questions that were asked during the presentation via the chat function. At the beginning, I would like to introduce Sarah Tisit as a company. Sarah Tisit is the full range supplier in the field of machining. The cutting tools team of the Sarah Tisit group is your access to one of the leading international experts for machining solutions. We are experts in developing solutions, including the ability to analyze and optimize existing processes. And one thing will never change, the direct contact to our customers, thanks to optimized structures and personal contacts. As a part of Sarah Tisit Group, we have exclusive raw material procurements enormous resources and masters to entire process chain, from mining, powder production and shaping to sintering as well as final finishing and surface finishing and recycling. We ensure the highest quality for our customers. You also benefit from our large network and our character as a one-stop shop for cutting tools in terms of innovative strength for example, in the development of new powder types, our distribution network and our consulting expertise. Let us start with the history and the idea behind the complex. Why do you need a fine spindle tool? A micro accurate adjustment is required to produce accurate fitting bores and to be able to fine adjust the wear of the indexable insert. 
For example, readjusting the cutting edge wear to the wear limit. In the beginning, the focus was a function, a setting key and a no news, adjustment by hand and a conditional good reading. So that was the start of fine spindle heads. The next level was to improve the readability by means of an external display device connected via a Bluetooth interface. The readjustment was done manually with an adjusting key with integrated battery for the energy supply of the measuring system. To make the reading even faster and more comfortable, a smartphone with the BlueFlex app can now be used as an external display device. Optionally, the adjustment value can also be quickly read directly on the fine adjustment head on an integrated OLED display. Comet's existing fine spindle drill heads, uh, HiFlex and BlueFlex, and the new HiFlex Digital are established on the market and have proven themselves as reliable fine spindle systems. However, these systems always require a manual intervention for adjustment. We would call this development the evolution. But what do these systems have in common? They all have to be adjusted by hand. It means the employee must either reach into the dirty workspace. He can only read the display with difficulty or he has to take the tool out of the machine to readjust it. So it is always a manual operation. So this got us thinking and we want to do, move away from manual readjustment towards a digital automated solution. This was the motivation to develop a fine spindle drilling head that can correct itself autonomously via the machine control. No spindle stop, no manual intervention, and no operator errors. Process safe, closed process, unmanned production, a ghost shift, achieve a major time advantage by reduction, non-productive time and downtime. These were the goals in the development of the Comflex. A fine spindle drilling head that correct itself automatically and autonomously in a closed loop process by means of the machine control in combination with a measuring system. In order to save development cost and time, existing technology was used and the partner was found in company Bloom Novotest, which offers the ideal conditions for this. Bloom Novotest is the only manufacturer of measuring equipment to offer a bi-directional radio interface. The result is the closed loop process. So please have a look to the simulation. Here you can see the machining of a part and the control system gives the, uh, the order to that the measuring device should be measured apart. The measuring device sent back the information over the RC66 to the control system. The control system compare is, uh, the existing position and the must be position and send the information to the complex to readjust the cutting edge. And again and again. So the next part can be machined with the correct size. Micro accurate delivery through artificial intelligence. What is meant by this? In feed command by control, activation of the complex fine spindle head, release of the actual position and approach of the correct target position, checking or adjustment of target actual position, if necessary, repeated approached until target position is reached. Automatic adjustment of the position drift. This is the artificial intelligence described. We call it the revolution of the fine spindle heads. And this without manual intervention. The following film shows how the complex is activated manually with the magnetic pin and fed in. 
The micro clock is mounted and set to the zero. First, the complex is activated by holding the magnetic pen against. Against the mode sensor, the yellow LED changes to white. Then the complex is active and the set sensor can be used to move the new center position. A short feed command on the set sensor triggers a movement of plus 5 micron. After reaching the position, the LED lights up green. As you can see, the complex moves to the new position several times in order to reach the new position with perfect micron accuracy. And the second time. With a short command on the mode sensor, one micron is adjusted in plus. Here too, a second time. And you can see it's in perfect 12 microns set on the clock device. With a long command on the mode sensor, the direction of travel is changed and the feed direction goes to minus. So if you give again over the mode or the set sensor, you will go back to the center. The following is a comparison of the time advantage of automatic readjustment. Here you can see the complex machines apart. Then the touch device is activated and measured apart. The measuring device sends information back to the control system. And now you can see on the left side the time to compare the wear with the complex and on the right side to compare the wear by hand. So now the complex is ready to machine the next part. And by hand you see on the right side the manual correction. The worker have to do the correction with a wrench. And for this he needs time. After the correction, you have to clamp again the slide and then it will be ready to start the machine. But you see several times more than to do it with the complex automatically. So complex is ready to machine the next part. Which components are necessary for this? So we serratisit we supply the complex, the front tools, the cutting edge, and the support for the machining. Bloom Novotest will test this and supply the hardware and software integration and carry out the commissioning. Here we have a real partnership with a reliable and established partner as our site. We have three different options for complex integration, so three different situations. At first, we have installation of a new machine at the OEM. So in this case, the integration of the Bloom compo components takes place at the machine manufacturer and is delivered to the customer complex ready. Either with complex or, at, or the end customer obtains it directly from Ceratizit. Existing machine out of warranty is the second option. Check of possibility, possible integration by Bloom. Hardware and software sold and installed by Bloom. Complex and tools from Ceratisit. Bloom components, it's the an RC66 are already present in the machine, is the third option. Software update by Bloom. Complex will be sold from Ceratisit. Various measuring methods are possible. So you can do a pre-process, a cutting measurement, or you can do a post-process component measurement. One of the most frequent questions is, can the complex also be used with other measuring device manufacturers? Definitely yes. 
any other measuring systems, whether Renishaw, Heidenhain, a fixed measuring station, or even by hand can be used. It is only a matter of transferring the measurement data from the component or measuring device to the control. However, to send signals from the control to the complex, the RC66 interface from Bloom is required. Ideally, the complex is used together with Bloom measuring systems. Thus, greatest effort benefit advantage. Now a brief overview of the structure of the complex. Only briefly the most important highlights. The combined tool interface, cylinder shank, diameter 16, ABS 32, or the toothed connection for bridges or directly screwed insert holders on the top of the complex. The slider with plus minus 0.25 millimeter compensation travel in this direction. The non-magnetic covering, where are the sensors? The battery compartment, the ABS 50 interface, and the magnetic adjustment pin with protective cap. The battery compartment with commercial available batteries identical to the blue measuring systems. The complex is supplied with a battery protector. This must, this must be removed before commissioning. The service life of the battery is approximately 2,000 adjustment cycles. Now to the tool structure. A wide variety of tools from a large tool portfolio can be used. Adjustable cutting edge supports are an advantage to enable a comfortable setup of the system. There are various adjustable adapters for small boring steels. This and this. The complex is supplied in a robust plastic box. In addition to the complex, the box contains the magnetic pen, a USB stick with the cooperation instructions, and spare seals. Here is a brief overview of possible tool setups. First, the smallest one from approximately diameter one, up to with different boring bars to a maximum diameter of 120 millimeters, or for external machining till up to diameter 70. After the tool setup, the presetting can be done. There is also a short film about this. There's nothing new in the setting and measurement of a tool. So you have to measure and adjust it like every other tool. So in this case, we have to activate it to preset to the center position. And then you have the possibility to measure the size of the position of the insert, or you can adjust with a preset possibility. And then you can take the value to the machine and put it into the control system, to the tool management. So now I will pass on to Sophie Müller on the subject of software and programming. Please wait two seconds. We have to switch the microphone and listen to Sophie's words. Thank you. Hello, Frank. Thanks for having me. And also a warm welcome from my side. I'm very happy to be here and to show you or to give you a short overview over my task during the development of the complex. Today, I will introduce you into the topic of the complex software and the programming. I accompanied the project beginning from the development process till the validation tests and the market launch. Our first topic will be the different controls to operate the complex system. Basically, there are three different field bus systems which are responsible for the communication. The first one is the client server, which can be used with Siemens, Fanuc, and Heidenheim. The image below, um, you can see which control types are possible. It's important to mention that it's dependable, 
it's dependable um, of the software version. You would like to retrofit your machine with the complex system, then you only have to fill out the data sheet, maybe together with your responsible sales um, representative, to check if an installation is possible or if any kind of retrofits are needful. The consultation is always made by Bloom if a retrofit is possible. If we look at the Siemens control, we have two additional field bus systems called Profibus and Profinet. They are typically used on newer machines. Is the machine equipped with Profibus or Profinet? It is definitely necessary to seek consultation with Bloom and also with the machine manufacturer. So the difference to the client server is that you have to get an individual evaluation by Bloom and you can't use the data sheet for retrofits. But now I would like to go more in detail with my favorite thema, the functions and the programming itself. How is the interaction with the machine and what needs to be done by the machine operator and what, ne and what needs to be programmed to get the perfect running system? The purchase of the complex includes the basic cycles with which the complex can be operated. In the following, I will explain what these cycles exactly contains. First, we need to set the customer specific parameters in the BKF user para tab. The letter N stands for the complex ID because it is possible to pair up to 16 complex with one RC66. Consequently, there must be one user para tab for each complex system because every complex has an individual manufacturing process and parameters. There are three main functions which will follow us through the whole program. They are visualized in a schematic sequence below. The first one is the pairing mode. The second one is the correction mode, which is responsible for the adjustment of the complex. And the last one is the reinitialization re mode. You will need this to get into the initial position after, uh, of the pairing mode after an insert change. Afterwards, you can put the fine spindle head back to the operation without going back to the presetting device. If you look at the process chain, we can see the following theme. First step is to preset the complex at the presetting device, as always. Afterwards, we pair the complex with the machine to get to know them. Afterwards, then the fine spindle head will adjust if a deviation of the nominal diameter is detected. After the interchange, the complex has to be reinitialized. Here you can see the most important parameters in the description. How I said before, every complex has an individual ID between 1 and 16. And there's also a tool name which is needful for the machine assignment. A new parameter is the parameter wear limit. This is the maximum inset wear limit until the correction of the complex. If this limit is exceeded, an insert change and the complex reinitialization will be necessary. The fourth parameter is min delta. It is the minimum correction value that must be exceeded to adjust the complex. The, the next parameter is the offset. It is a value which is added to the initial paired position. You can only adjust or define the, par, uh, the manufacturing direction through the parameter DIR. And the last one is the parameter mess cut which defines if the current manufacturing operation is a measuring cut or not. Here you can see a vivid image to explain the parameter wear limit more in detail. At the beginning, you have a fresh insert and with every manufacturing process, the insert will wear out till the wear limit is reached and then the insert is worn out. So you can say, the wear is summed up by the program until the wear limit is reached and the machine displays an error code. So 
So let's take a closer look to the main function. One of them is the pairing mode. This is a simple process where a connection is made between the complex and the machine. This is called the pairing process O mode. For this program, a, man a, man a magnetic pen is necessary. If the process is not changing, the pairing process doesn't have to be performed again. As soon as a new manufacturing process needs to be initialized, you need to pair up the complex again. Let's look at the video to explain this. In this video, you can see that the machine operator called the, parameter, the program BKF check-in. And what needs to be done? You only have to follow the instructions which are displayed on the display. You have to hold on the magnetic pen on the sensor set till the LED is green. And then the complex is successfully paired. That's it. As you can see, the usability is very easy for you. The second program is the correction mode. This system can be either adjusted manually by the parameter offset or automatically in the closed loop operation with the wear limit parameter in the tool table. Our intention, our intention is to use the tool in the full automatic mode. But if you use it in the manual operation, for example, the complex system can be tested when the workpiece is measured in a post process outside the machine. This is also possible. The last function is the reinitialization of the complex after an insert change. So the complex goes back to its initial set position at pairing mode. And then the, the wear parameter, the, set, the sum up of the, par, uh, of the wear limit, um, is always set to zero, zero in this tool table. So let's have a look at the video who explains the reinitialization mode. On the left side, you can see the complex, and on the right side, the conventional fine spindle head. In the picture or in the video, you can see that the insert has still needs to be changed manually in both operations. But what is new with the complex? After the, changing, after the change of the insert, the setting of the pre, uh, the setting at the presetting device is not necessary anymore. So you can put the um, the complex back to the machine and call up the program BKF reinitialization, and the rest is done by the machine. So he goes back to his initial set position at pairing mode, and you can go back to your manufacturing process. And this saves time and reduces the chance of human-made issues. Now I want to show you an example. Our nominal diameter is 12 millimeter, and our maximum and minimum tolerance is 12,003, and in the 11,997. The parameter min delta defines the minimum correction value which needs to be exceeded for a correction. In this case, these are the black bars next to the nominal diameter to have a little extra safety to our tolerance limit. So the program can be extended and optimized through user experience for different applications. And this application shows an internal manufacturing because of the parameter DRS DIR, which is set to zero. At the bottom, you can see a scale to show the adjustment range of the complex, which we have always to be in mind during, uh, during the programming. This was my presentation through the functions and the programming. And now I would like to go back to Frank. So many thanks to Sophie. 
and uh, I think it was very helpful to understand how the software function is from the complex. So many thanks to you, Sophie. Now back to some last informations. If you would like to get to know the complex, you have the possibility to see the complex live in action in our Seratisit innovation centers, or we invite you to inform yourself on various channels. Please contact us. We will be happy to present our newest fund spindle product, the Complex, to you. Finally, a technical summary. The communication is with Bloom radio interface. We have automatic operation via machine control, the closed loop manufacturing. We have a manual presetting via magnetic pin. The adjustment accuracy is one micron in radius. The adjustment range is plus minus 0.25 millimeter. The boring range is approximately from diameter three up to 120. And the outer diameter is diameter 63 and the high is 100 millimeter. The weight is approximately 1.5 kilogram and the maximum RPM in the center position is 8,000 RPM. The combined tool interface is ABS32, a cylinder shank diameter 16 or with teeth. The interface to the spindle or to adapter is ABS50. The maximum coolant pressure is 30 bar. The degree of protection is IP67 and the battery is a standard battery uh, LS14500. Um, it's the same like in the touch probe device from the company Bloom. The advantage are summarized once again. We have a fully automatic production of precision bores in closed loop operation. We have a direct adjustment possible by means of control or control module. The component measurement possible with all measuring methods and measuring systems. Manual operation by means of magnetic pen. The control up to 16 different complex tools with one RC66. If you have a double spindle machine, you need best two of them. The manual presetting via adjustable boring bars and a simple retrofitting of blue machine equipment. It's cost effective as no further machine equipment is required with existing Bloom RC66 module. It's a patented printed circuit board design, a modular tooling from existing modulator portfolio, and Complex is available from stock at Comet Basicheim. So if you need more and more up to 60 in one machine, for example, you can get it from stock in a very, very quick delivery. Now we come to your questions. So we are now happy to answer any questions you may have asked in the chat. So please, Sophie, you can help me and have a look into the chat if the visitors have sent us some questions. Yes, Mike P has a question. Where does the automatic correction takes place? The automatic correction takes place. Uh, at first, um, you have to measure the part and this information will be sent to the control system and the control system check the, or compare the value between existing bore size and must be um, bore size. And so they will send the information how much microns they have to adjust to the complex. And the complex will be they have their own inside drive motor and they will move or readjust the slide with the cutting edge to the right to the correct position and also they will check with a measuring device inside if they are on the right position or not and so this is the inside intelligence um, what we mean that we have the right position thank you frank that was a good explanation I think the next question is also, also a good question, which is also often asked by the customer. Is it really possible to machine several diameters? Oh, this is not possible because um, this is a fine spindle head to compensate the wear of the insert or to correct the size of a bore diameter. 
we have plus minus 0.25 millimeter um, compensation um, way. But it's not built up to change the position between every bore. And so it needs too much time and it needs um, too much stroke then. So it's built up to machine one size of bore. Thank you. But in your presentation, you, can, you said that an external machining is possible, right? Yes, Sophie, this is also possible. Um, what you have seen perhaps in the video, some sheets before, um, we have also the possibility to make OD turning. So you can change the direction parameter. And uh, so then the complex knows you are now the machine uh, outside diameter and the plus and minus direction is to the opposite way than if you machine inside for a uh, diameter. The next question is about the battery lifetime of the complex. Can you say something to this? Oh yes, so the battery lifetime is approximately 2000 cycles. So this is also um, depend on how much, how often you have to readjust the insert. So it's different if you machine aluminum, for example, with PCD inserts, um, the wear is very less. So you have a very, very long lifetime. If you have um, much more abrasive material, you have to correct the size more often. But then it's depend on the situation of the wear. And so we, we calculated for approximately 2000 um, um, cycles to readjust the position. Thank you. Um, that was the last question, but um, I have also a question which is maybe um, important for our for our listeners. If I have a uh, measuring probe from Heiden, uh, from uh, from Renishaw, can I also use them? Yes, always. Um, you can. This, this is a different way. So to measure the part is one thing because you measure the part, you give the information to the control system, to the tool management, and um, so they will compare the value. Um, it doesn't matter if you do it with any other kind of measuring device or if you measure it by hand, take this value and put in the value in your um, 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 tool management. Um, this is also possible. Important is that you have the function between the control system over the Bloom RC66 to the complex. You need this possible communication and so it's necessary to have this uh, Bloom technology in the machine. But then you have the biggest benefit if you have the measuring device from Bloom and our complex. And so this is the best build up to and uh, the economical or the benefit for you. I can see a new question in the chat. What about the maximum tool overhang? The maximum tool overhang. Um, so I think it means the, the maximum tool diameter what we can machine inside. I think so. Um, so the, we we can use the complex. It's built up for a diameter of 120 millimeter. Um, so we tested this for this diameter, and sure, if we need bigger sizes or we need it for bigger sizes for approximate they will say diameter 500 um, we can find also solutions um, if we use uh, perhaps some bigger bridges and we have on the outside point we have an ABS 50 connection and then we can put on the complex to this outside position and so it's then also possible to machine bigger sizes than one, diameter 120. So if you have the application um, what are bigger than 120 millimeter um, so then please ask and contact us and we will try to give you a solution for this he gives to him um, he gives us uh, additional information about his question he asked about the tool length the tool length the maximum tool length of the front tool um, so we have approximately so in, in general um, we have we have the physical situation always we have approximately three and a half 
2D or 4D, but sure, by 120, we cannot realize the completely length. But I will say up to diameter 63, this is the outside diameter of the common flex. We can realize approximately a length of, I will say, approximately 80 or 100 millimeter. If you have a bore, which one is bigger than 63, we can go or we can deep in with the complex into the bore. So we can adapt with some adapters and then we can machine also um, bores with which are very, very deep. Yeah. So then it's necessary to adapt on the backside. And then we have the same situation with every other fine spindle head also. So thank you very much for your question. So he asks, can um, we can't machine low diameter deep holes consequently? We can't. So we can't machine low diameter deep holes. Uh, okay. What what is low diameter and what is uh, um, low deep um, or deep holes. Um, so I will say um, if you have a diameter approximately three, diameter three is very small one. Um, so then you will find on the market um, carbide steels um, to turn out diameter three, for example. And uh, then it's depend on the length of these carbide steels. It's then not a question from the complex. I think it's more the question from the front tool, if you mean this. So I think, oh, one further. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I think that was our last question. Mm -hmm. So if you want to contact us again and have some more questions, so please feel free to contact us. Here are our email addresses so inform you please on the cutting tools at Sarah City um, homepage on the complex or write uh, your questions to offer point actuating tools at saratisit.com or directly to my hands to frank point stadler at saratisit.com or to sophie point miller at saratisit.com and we will try to give you the answer very quickly and um, so we look forward to hearing from you and uh, so we are happy if you contact us and um, Yes, if you have not further questions, so thank you very, very much. Thank you to Sophie for your help to explain the software and the programming in this webinar. And so please enjoy next DEMA presentations uh, and uh, hope you can get for you some information about our new product, Complex. Thank you again and stay healthy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.